Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Weigh In Wednesday. How many years have I been saying that? It feels like I've been saying that for the longest time. Today's no different. Just like every Wednesday, I get on the scale, get a little feedback in the morning to see what the scale thinks of my eating the week prior. Now, one thing I want to mention, because I know we have a lot of new people here, I actually do weigh every single day. I do the weigh-in Wednesday because I know many of you like it. You like when I go over, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I do better? So I always do these on Wednesdays, but me personally going into Wednesday, I know about where I'm going to be. Now listen though, about a year ago there was no way that I could have done daily weigh-ins. Absolutely not because mentally I could not have handled it at all. But now I sort of understand the fluctuation being that I'm deep into the throes of perimenopause, skipping periods constantly. I'm eight months right now, no period. That's actually a celebration. I'm happy about it. So all of those things kind of getting in tune with my body a little bit more, I have realized that hormones play an enormous part in this. I have had days where like from a Monday to a Tuesday, I will gain five or six pounds, literally overnight. Now, did I eat 18,000 calories to cause that? No, I, absolutely not, I did not. But hormones, you know, they will do that to you. You'll get inflamed. You can get inflammation. Maybe you had a little bit more salt than usual, but I personally don't think that is what does it to me. I really think it's just inflammation. There are times where I just feel like I might eat almost nothing. Let's say I eat two eggs and a piece of bread, or let's say I eat two eggs and a half of avocado and my stomach will swell, my fingers will swell, like no reason for it at all. And that might happen for a full week or two weeks. And I know that's hormonal. So because I've got myself mentally prepared to see that gain, and I know that in a couple, two, three days, or maybe sometimes I have to wait even a month to watch it drop down, it will drop down if I'm doing everything right. Now I have to make sure that, you know, I'm tracking and I'm eating the right Right way but when I am and the scale is not when we're not lining up then I know that it's just my body going haywire I know that hormones have me in a headlock right now let me tell you it is affecting me like I cannot I cannot even describe so I'll be really happy when I get through perimenopause but really you know I say that and for those of you that, that have gone ahead of me and paved the road on this, I know that you're probably going to tell me, oh, you have no idea. It's just beginning. And I just find that to be appalling, that at this day and age, nobody, no doctor anywhere has come up with anything helpful. And I know a lot of people do the... Um, hormone replacement therapy. It's just not for me for many reasons, medical reasons, other reasons, family history reasons. There's reasons that it's just not for me. So I am trying to power through it the best that I can, but we just got way off in a tangent. Normally, hormonal stuff, we talk about that on my other channel on Living Life Over 50. If you are unaware, I do have another channel. So if you're over 50 and you like beauty and makeup and skincare and hair care and menopause talks and all of the things we go through as women over 50, then I would love it if you would check that channel out as well. I'll leave a link down below in the description box. But all of that said, today we're talking about weight gain or weight loss. And by the way, before anyone asks, because usually someone will ask me about what I'm wearing on my face. So I always have that linked below, but I want to show you this new palette because I love it. This is the eyeshadow palette is called Wildwood, and this is by a company called Alter Ego. I do have a really good discount with them as well, so I'll leave that down below. But this palette is what I'm wearing on my eyes. I love it. I think this is so pretty. It's really like earthy. And we will have a tutorial on this look on my other channel, but I think it's beautiful. 
This is the dupe to Natasha Denona. My hair is in my mouth again. This is the dupe to the Natasha Denona palette that's called Yucca, which is a really popular palette. It was like one of the most requested last year. Absolutely beautiful, but Natasha Denona charges $69 for it. Alter Ego sent this to me, so I tried it out. It's identical. It is literally identical. With my discount, this will be under $20. So, love it. And then on my face, and then on my face, I have this sculpt palette from Sigma, which I absolutely love this palette. Highlight, blush, every contour or bronzer you could think of. It's really, really nice. So, I usually get those questions. So, sometimes I had it sitting here in front of me because I did this a few hours ago. So, perfect timing. Anyway, how'd the weigh-in go? I am still in my window, and as I always say, when I'm in my window, I don't give you the plus whatever or the minus whatever, because, let me explain to you why, because if you're new here, you might wonder this. If I'm at, so my window is between 145 and 150, so if I'm in that range, then I'm good. I call that maintenance, but let's say I am at 141 and then I go all the way up to 145. I could get really down in the dumps and call that a gain over a week's time. I could call that a gain and I could get upset and I could feel like I gained four pounds, but I'm in my maintenance window. So I don't wanna do that. When I was giving you every single plus this minus that, that's what it would do to me mentally. It would make me feel like I lost, you know, some kind of way. When I mean lost as in win, lose, and it didn't make me feel good. So now that I have this five pound window, I, it's no big deal. If I gain a couple of pounds, I lose a couple of pounds. It's all the same for me. So I'm in my maintenance window still. If I get above that window, I will definitely let you know. I would, of course, let you know if I got under that maintenance window, but it seems that that never seems to be the problem. So what did I do right? What did I do wrong? What could I do better? So what I could do better, what I didn't do great all week was tracking. I did have a couple snack accidents where there was some leftover Easter candy out with chocolate and peanut butter in it and I did a little bit of the drive-by eating, you know, pop the little egg and you know what I'm talking about. Now, is that enough to cause a gain, a significant gain? No, it isn't. But you know what it is enough to do? It is enough for me to start craving sugar. It takes almost nothing for that to happen to me. And you know, I don't say this lightly at all, to me, sugar is almost like a poison, and it's definitely a real true addiction for me in the sense that, you know, if you're an alcoholic, you can't just have a little bit of alcohol, make light of those things at all. But in my body and in my craving, it literally feels that way to me. If I eat just a little bit of it, and I've been trying it out, you know I've been talking about this on my channel, that I've been doing exposure therapy with my own self and leaving candy out, leaving brownie type stuff out. There are certain things that are a trigger for me and I've been trying, you like almost like if you were afraid of snakes and so then your therapist told you, let's just have a field trip to the zoo and let's go in the snake house and get used to looking at the snakes and then you feel like you're exposed to it and you kind of get desensitized to it. That is what I was trying to do with myself with the sugar. It doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. I can't have it. Can I have some sugary stuff, sweet stuff? I can, but it has to be things I really don't like very much. Like, um, I don't know, a jelly bean or something. I, there could be 200 jelly beans sitting here in front of me and I would not care because I don't really like them that much. So that says to me, is it sugar? Is it sugary things? Is it chocolate? I don't know. But whatever it is, sugar in my body, it will make me crave more sugar. And that to me, it's just detrimental. I will make really bad decisions. If I have a little bit of ice cream, 
It doesn't, it's not in my life. I cannot go have, you know, I've noticed on cartons that one serving of ice cream might be like two thirds of a cup. There's no way, there's no way. I would, I would eat the two thirds cup and then I would go back and have a half a gallon. And I, I am telling you, I know me and I really would do that. So because of that, can I have sweet things? Yes, and by that I mean like Atkins and things like that. I can get away with that without a problem. I can't do it every day, but I can have that a couple, two, three times a week. But when I have the hardcore sugar, like I said, you know, the Easter egg thingy, thingamajiggies, I will start to crave sugar. I think about it. I think about where I can go get it. I give myself excuses to say it's no big deal. You could just have a little bit of it. And if I do that, I will crave it for probably the next week. So that is what's happening right now. I am craving it. So I'm doing intermittent fasting absolutely until noon or one o'clock. Sometimes I'll break that a little bit early. So sometimes I'll go like from seven o'clock to 11 the following day or seven o'clock the evening before till noon. But what I'm doing right now is six o'clock. So I have to have my last meal by six o'clock. I have to be done with it. And then I will eat again at either noon or one. It works for me. It helps me get those cravings out. I am not starving. I never go starving. You know why? In the morning, my routine is I get up and I drink black coffee slowly. And I work here on my computer and I write out my videos and get my day started. And I do that kind of slowly. So by the time I'm ready to move on to something else, it's about 10 o'clock, 10.30. And at that point, I'll just go to water. That's what I'm doing right now. Whereas normally for me, by noon, I'm usually having a protein shake. I will break my fast with one of those little um, gem vitamin bites that I've been showing you. Let me grab it for you. This is what I break my fast with. So I eat one of these. It's like a little, it's sort of like my little treat. And this is my sort of like my bell that I'm breaking my fast. 35 calories. Um, and it's your full multivitamin panel. I'll kind of tell you because everybody always asks when I show these. I'm going to tell you the way they describe it. Tangy and just sweet enough with a satisfying chewy texture. Yeah, I would agree. To me, they are very like citrus heavy, orangey, lemony, and they are definitely chewy. See how like soft granola? That smells so good. It makes me want to eat another one, which I'm not going to do but they're, they're really good. I like them. And that's my multivitamin. I take one of those and I, you know, I really like them. I don't worry about the carbs. There are carbs in them. There's six carbs, but you know what? It's my multivitamin. I'm not going to worry about it. I wasn't counting the carbs when I was taking the full pack of gummy bears either because I can't swallow a pill. So I had to have that big handful of gummy vitamins and that was a lot of sugar. So I don't worry about my little gem bites. I'll leave a discount down below if you're interested in them. I really like them. I would at least try out, you know, do a month or something and let them send you a month's worth and you'd be surprised. They're really good and I really enjoy them. But anyway, all that said, I do one of those and then I go right on to water. That's what I'm doing right now. And that breaks my fast. I'll drink this water until 12 or one o'clock and I'm good. It works for me. That will get that sugar craving out. And you know, I don't know, maybe this little thing helps. It is not super sweet at all. It's like I said, it's more lemony citrusy. So it doesn't give me that, that sweet bang. What I would never do is have the first thing that I eat be like an Atkins bar, like a wafer bar or something that is sweet, but not sugar. That is a big mistake for me because that will start that whole thing going again in my body. So like I said, I, I'll be serious about the intermittent fasting throughout the next seven days or so and I'll get it out of my system. It'll be fine. Not worried about it. And I'll just be a little bit heavier on fat and protein. Eggs and bacon or eggs and turkey sausage. I like that. Or maybe like eggs, turkey sausage, and a half of avocado, something along those lines. So that's what I'll do. Now listen, if you're not in my Facebook group, I would love for you to be in my Facebook group because I make sure that I put a lot of information 
information in there. We talk a lot about what I'm eating throughout the week. Sometimes I'll throw little sample meals in there. So if you're looking for a little bit of additional help, it's totally free. If you have a Facebook account, I'll leave it linked down below. Just click on it and we'll approve you. But it's a really good group of ladies that are on several, and there's men in there too, several different programs. We've got Weight Watchers in there. We have Low Carbers. We have Keto People. You know, any bit, some people are counting macros and calories. It's all the same. We're all walking down the path. We're just getting there from different directions. So to me, I feel like it's just good to have a support system out there for each other. And if it's the middle of the night and you're thinking about having a midnight snack, you jump on there, the chances that somebody sees it and they're up thinking about barbecue potato chips too, they're gonna see it and then you'll have somebody to talk to and it just gives you a little bit more support. So anyway, that is it for the week. I'm really happy with how the week went. Like I said, I have a plan to kind of get this sugar craving out of my system. I'm sure that it will work. And I'll check in with you. Let's see, today is Wednesday. So I'll see you Friday for a meal prep so that you will be ready for the weekend.